in the future, and I hope that this future ha will happen not far from now, there will be a new way to, to formulate the physical laws where time will appear even much more different than we understand now. And the reason why I believe this is because we have also other experiences, not only freedom, that uh, we, we, we can't account by the laws of physics today. I would just mention them because I don't have time to go deeply into them. But every one of us has an experience that time is passing. Namely, now there is a, now when I'm talking to you, this is a very important present for me now. But yesterday I had another present, and tomorrow I will have another present. And this passage of time is to us a very, very important notion. You will be surprised to know that according to the laws of physics, as we understand them today, there is no, there is no motion in time. No passage of time. Time is just like a parameter. We can only say that when time has one value, the world looks one way. When it has another value, the world looks another way. But there is no way to say that time is passing. Passage of time is, according to the laws of physics, just another psychological illusion that we have compared to the freedom. And then we have also the experience of awareness. And uh, there is no way in physics, in the, the, in the physics of today, there is no way to understand what it means for a system to observe itself. We know what it means for, that if I look at something else, I find what it is by, and I record it in my brain. But what does it mean to say that my brain looks upon my brain? This is a, something that looks into, inf very quickly into infinite digression, because I have to separate my brain into one part that looks at the other part, and then I need another part that looks at that part, and then very quickly the, I find that there is no way in our understanding today what measurement means. There is no way to observe, to understand what awareness is, because awareness is a way for a system to completely observe itself. So, I, based on all the, these three things, I am claiming that we should expect that there will be another revolution in physics, and there is room for it experimentally, because all the experiments that have verified the physics of today, the physical laws of today, were done on systems that are not very complex. Even if we have very big systems, maybe many, many particles, the complexity of this system is negligible compared to the complexity of the system of our brain. If we look at this system, you see that it is the most complex system for its size that we know in nature. That means that it's possible there will yet be another evolution in physics on top of the two revolutions that we had in the last century. In the two revolutions that we had in the last century, we understood how come we made all the experiments in classical physics and never knew about relativity and never knew about quantum mechanics. The reason was that all the experiments were done on things that did not move very fast, very close to velocity of light. That's why we did not see relativity. We made an experiment on macroscopic objects that were very, very large compared to electrons. Therefore, we did not see the laws of quantum mechanics. And now I claim that perhaps there, there is also another possibility of experiments that are done on systems in the laboratory, not complex enough. And when we look at our own experience, these are new type of experiments very inexpensive compared to the experiment that we see how doing billions of experiments every day, humanity. But, but that I, this, is my, this is my conclusion. I believe that we are all, each one of us, are doing very important experiments every day, physical experiments on the most complex system that we know, which is our brain. Each one of us experiences the passage of time. Each one of us, hopefully, experiences also that awareness. And each one of us experience freedom, and there are some other things that I don't have time to go into. That means that we are always participating in a range of experiments that cannot be done in all the most expensive laboratories in the world, and they indicate for us that, if, that there is still room for something new in physics, and that something has to do not with the parameter how fast we, we move, not with the parameter that tells us how small or big we are, but with the parameter that tells us how complex the system is. Thank you.